I needed the piglet chart to make this stuff here, all the modium alloy block, which we need to make the ATM star. So the piglet chart is used in the process in the casting table. You pour unobtainium and all the modium alloy over top of a piglet chart, and you'll get an alloy ingot. And hopefully it doesn't use up this piglet chart because that fight's kind of cheesy. So we need this stuff right here too, soul lava, which I'm going to show you how you get that and where you can find the piglets too. You need one of these teleport pads. You put it down in the nether. It's going to take you to a place called the other. While you're in the other, you're going to have to look for this structure right here. It's not going to look like this. It's going to be full, completely built. And these piglets are going to spawn in here. Soul lava. Another thing you're going to have to look for while you're in the other is this right here. I guess it's like a volcano or something, but this deal is filled with soul lava. So I filled up six and a half ultimate fluid tanks. That should be plenty of soul lava. And while I was gone, been building up polonium, got enough peace to make our first piece of antimatter. So why not put it on film? Our first piece of antimatter. That's not a quest. Yikes. I got good news. I'm making the alloy, unobtainium, all the modium alloy with the soul lava that I collected, pouring it over top of the piglet chart, and we're getting the ingots that we need to make the blocks for the ATM star. The one problem is it sure takes its sweet old time to cure. Speaking of time, we need a lot of netherrack specifically to make the dimensional seed. We need a nine times compressed netherrack block. I've been growing this here using mystical agriculture and it cranks out netherrack, but the problem is only up to two, six times blocks. So I need to help this thing out. We're going to do that in the nether We're using a digital miner in the nether to mine netherrack. Now I've been storing time in a bottle for quite some time now. Did you know you could use it on this deal if you do it on the bottom? It mines way faster. You know, the nether's so peaceful when you have creative flight. Can't touch me. <laughs> I've used up 20 hours of time in a bottle on this digital miner. And this is the amount of netherrack that I got from that. Doesn't seem like a lot when you're talking about a nine times compressed block for this dimensional seed. So I think maybe this is a placeholder that they used when making this mod pack. I am 18 versions behind updating because I didn't want to break the game, but I think it's time I bite the bullet and update this pack. Before I do that, let's see if we even made a dent into this whole ordeal. The answer is no. It would still need a ton of time to get this nether rack. Time to update. It worked. Sometimes when you update your pack, you're running the issues. This one's kind of weird. <laughs> this minecart's going back and forth. It's cutting down trees. How's it doing that? I don't know, because that's over there. Weird. My clock tower no longer works. No reason why. You still choochin'. This doesn't have any moving parts with create. This is acting normal, I think. I don't know all my fans. But the good news is we got a new floor and I don't even have to do anything. I like this. Did create change? 
Because my fans. Magma block doesn't power fan anymore. Looks like it did change. I guess that's for the better for some people, but not for me because that was my whole design here to make a blackstone. The 420 update for all the mod seven might make your game act like it's high, but I'm freaking hype. Create mod is now updated and check this out. We can no longer use the magma block with the fan, but they added a new deal here. It's called a steam engine and it looks freaking cool. Look at this. We need this in our life. I put my fans back and I added a basement down here. I'm going to figure out how to do steam power to power these fans again. And I'll bring you back and explain it. I think I have an understanding of how this works. We need blaze burners at the bottom, four of them, just like that. And then we need fluid tanks on top of here. Four, 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 four high. Boom, like so. And we need to take these steam engines. Take these and just click them on the bottom here. Four of them. And then take a shaft. Notice how the placement of this changes. You can see that ghost image. We want to keep all these the same. I'm going to keep mine that way. I guess easier said than done. There we go. Boom. Now they're all four connected and they'll spin together. And we need to get water in here. So we got three blocks of water right here. We're going to come out of there with flow pipe right at the bottom one. We're going to come up too high and then we need a mechanical pump to go into this deal right there. Boom. That's going to work. Except I'm going to rotate that now. Set up some cog wheels. We're going to come off of this deal with a big one. And we'll go little guy, big guy on there, little guy, little guy. That's going to up the rotation speed of this twice. So whatever this outputs, that should be enough force to pump the water into the deal. Now we need to get water into the deal to get it started. So I'm putting a pump fluid pipe on there with an item drain. Actually, I need a pump there. I did say the right thing and put the wrong thing there. I need a pump. Boom. Rotate it. We want it to go in. We're going to put a cog wheel there. A hand crank on top, just like so. We need this guy. Take this, fill up this fluid container with water. Then we should be able to just crank this deal. Get the water in there. Hear it working. That's not set the right way. That needs to go that way. We go again. Water. Crank. Boom, pumps, filling the boiler. These guys, so this thing right now will make 2,048 stress units with these four engines. The pump is using 256 of that. I only have to power 
26 fans at a low speed to do the Blackstone above. I think I only need one boiler down here because here's something else that's cool. If you feed it something that burns, watch this. It cranks. And it now makes 65,000 stress units. So we need to set up an automation to feed the four of these wood if we need it. But I'm going to go with the one boiler for now. Let this thing calm down. Route all these fans in. See if it'll work on one boiler. This is freaking cool. With a bunch of gearboxes and shafts, I now got the fans spinning. We're back to making Blackstone up here. Everything is right in the world. And I'm so glad that I updated the pack to 420 because this new stuff would create is mind boggling to me. I think that is going to be the end of the video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Watch out. There's a wall there. That's a steam engine, your new power source for create. And they added some other things too that I can't wait to play with trains being one. We need to figure out what we're going to use them for. Because they look freaking cool too. Thanks for watching the video, y'all. Have fun and peace.